Hey everybody, this is Modern Refugee. Um, with everything that's been going on in the last few days, um, I wanted to uh, bring up a couple of things. Um, one of them is panic buying, and the other one is um, my own personal, um, I guess, prepping system. How I go about uh, my preparedness, I guess for lack of a better term, my own personal DEFCON levels, I guess. And uh, I've been doing this for years, and uh, it's never failed me, and it's always uh, been a benefit when something was going on. And uh, to touch base on panic buying a little bit, you know, I mean, we all seen it during the uh, height of the pandemic. Um, people kind of lost their minds a little bit, and that is just a taste of how things are going to be if something bad happens. Now, um, when the panic buying is going on, I don't want to be out and about. I want to be in my observation stage, which is one of my personal DEFCON levels. And uh, I have a, kind of a three-tiered system. One is um, actively prepping. Two is observation. And three is decision-making time. Those are my three my three um, tiers. And uh, the actively prepping stage is uh, when everything's fine. When everything's hunky dory, you know, people are out and about and they're working the shelves and uh, the stores are full. You know, if I see a deal on something, I'm going to get it. Hey, you know what? I'm going to stock up on this. I want to jump on the internet and, you know, order this. Hey, I got some stuff that needs to be fixed. I want to go buy some parts. So I got some extra parts here. I'm going to go fill my propane tanks up, you know, because I got a little extra money, whatever. That's going to be um, my active prepping stage. And that's where I exist most of the time, unless something is uh, going on. If something is going on or something is on my radar, that's the observation stage. And uh, I'm actually sort of in that observation stage right now with everything that's been going on in the world. We're coming up on the anniversary of uh, the Russia-Ukraine thing. And uh, I'm sort of in the, that observation mode. And when I'm in observation mode, I am not going to go up to the co-op and buy 500 pounds of beans to put up. I am going to just uh, observe. I am going to get with neighbors. Hey, you know what? Did you see this happen or whatever? I am going to uh, see how everything is um, going in my local area. I might take drives around at, uh, you know, different points of time during the day just to kind of keep my pulse on my neighborhood, my town, my area. Um, I am going to be in active observation mode. Hey, I might shoot a text to people I know. Hey, did you see this? Are you keeping an eye on that or whatever? Actively um, in observation mode. Because when the panic buying and things are starting to degrade, I don't want to be out in the foray. I want to be in observation mode so I can make decisions. I can take, uh, I can take the situation. I can look at it and I can... Uh, get with some of my close friends and neighbors and we can figure out how to uh, go about things basically. And um, observation mode is, how do I want to say this? Um, observation mode is at a point where uh, I'm not going to be doing any massive amounts of preps, but I'm still going to go on with my daily life, which means if I need a few things, I'll go to the grocery store, buy a few things. I'll put gas in my vehicle. I might go up to the uh, bank, get a few uh, few dollars out in cash, that kind of stuff, average things. I'm not going to go up and you know try to get uh, a whole basket full of money out of the ATM if something goes wrong. But I might stop and get 40 bucks out or 80 bucks out or something like that. So I got just a little bit extra in my wallet for whatever reason. But... Uh, I'm not going to do any massive moves when I'm in observation mode. I am going to stick um, to looking at my situation so I can go from there. And uh, observation mode, since uh, the pandemic, um, I've spent a lot of time in observation mode, bouncing back and forth from uh, different things. And the last is decision time. And decision time means something bad is happening in my local area because I was in observation mode, I realized, hey, something's degrading. Um, this situation isn't the baseline for my area anymore. Now I'm going to make decisions. I'm going to get with uh, my people. I'm going to get with my neighbors, close friends. We're going to talk about the situation and we're going to figure out, you know, steps forward, make those hard decisions, whatever they happen, happen to be. And uh, all of these three systems as to try to keep me and my people out of 
harm's way as things deteriorate. And uh, if you're in observation mode and you notice something is happening and then you switch to the hard decision mode and you've taken yourself out of that situation, now you've just prevented you know, being in a bad situation that you have to figure your way out of. And that is sort of my mindset. And like I said, panic buying is sort of a, a good thing to talk about with that because you don't want to be in that foray. You don't want to be in the fist fights waiting for, waiting for goods and stuff. If you could already have that stuff at home where you could be sitting back and just keeping an eye on things. And like I said, those three tiered systems have uh, benefited me many, many times. Those are sort of my, uh, own personal DEFCON levels um, that I've used. And uh, it's uh, something that I wanted to bring up, something for you guys to uh, analyze and think about for yourself, because, uh, you know, we live in strange days and uh, anything can happen at any time at uh, this point in time. Um, I think that things are slowly deteriorating and, uh, you know, black swan events can just pop off at any particular time. But anyway, this is Modern Refugee. Appreciate all my subscribers out there. Hope you got something out of this uh, little discussion here, uh, guys. And anyway, you take care.